Nicole here with Stella and today we're going to be working on uh, some other things that we didn't get to go over in the last video here and uh, as you can see Miss Stella is behaving very nicely she's sitting nicely um, she's very calm at this point in time uh, I know because she's a puppy her energy uh, levels uh, drop after she's exercised a little bit so she gets tired uh, a little bit faster than some of the larger dogs of course so very light exercise prior to training or uh, taking her on a walk is definitely preferable. And uh, we're going to start off here with our healing. Again, we want to make sure that we start off with just a review. Every single time we go over anything new, we want to make sure we do a review first of what we've learned previously. And even though these are just some basic commands, we want to make sure that she knows them and she complies to them every single time. And also, we'll throw in a couple of little cute tricks, like shake and crawl, see if she'll be able to do that for us here. She's uh, taking care of some business right now on the side here. Um, when she's done doing that, we'll start with the come. But we have her on the short leash. We have her on the short leash. We want to make sure that we're able to uh, help her along. And by building drive as well, we want to make sure that she's very excited to come to us. to go somewhere else, but still asking her to come to us. 
All right, so we're going to work on that heel again. Downs. We want to make sure she can go fluidly from a down to a sit, which might need a little bit of work. We want to make sure that she can uh, do those things when we ask her to. A dog getting up from a down may be a little bit difficult. She's comfortable in that position. Why does she want to get up for? But again, we want to make sure that we're excited. We're very happy when she does something. And the occasional treat doesn't hurt. that I'm looking for because this is not her doing it at all. It's actually me. So by me, uh, let's say I'm rolling her around a little bit. We're getting her into a position where she feels like she can sit up. At that point, I'm going to mark that behavior yes or good. And then she will be able to get a reward, treat or affection. So let's try it again. very comfortable in this position. she's in that position, she's a little rolling off to the side or something like that and you see her getting up into that sit, <laughs> up into that sitting position and we want to make sure that we're able to uh, help her just a little bit. So if we need a little bit of tension from the leash to kind of give her the direction since she's already kind of propped up in that position, again we don't want to scooch her butt around or really position her in what we want her uh, to be sitting like because basically She's not going to do it, and it's going to be us instead, which doesn't make sense because she's not going to comprehend that, you know, this is sit from a down position. So we're going to try that again. And you can make this into a game at home. It's very fun. And of course, having her perform for different people, family members, she's really cute as it is, and having all these little tricks and things for her, definitely the way to go.